Here's day two of the install, 2016, 2500, 144 wheelbase Sprinter. So last night I was up till like five in the morning. I did a lot. Um, cut the hole in the headliner, see how that will work out. That's for the TV stand right here. Feel pretty comfortable how this is installed. There's the Romex, there's two flat HDMI cables. The reason I did two of them, because this was such a pain in the ass, I don't want to go back and do it again. So if one HDMI cable goes bad, I don't want to rerun this. Um, I also ran two cameras to the back. There's two RCA cables and a power cable. So two RCAs and a power cable. I taped them so they wouldn't rattle and I fed them all the way in the back. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, putting up this headliner is going to be fun. I keep on mentioning that, but we'll see how that goes. I have to buy insulation, and then uh, I'll be good to go. Hold on one second. I'm going to walk around the back. So now we're going around the back. Took off this panel. Um, and I ran the camera wire through here. And uh, down here, and I siliconed down there. I don't know if you can see, but I siliconed. Um, I have a rear camera with a switcher. So that camera I can switch to when I want to look straight back. And then I'm getting a rear view camera today that I'm going to be putting up there for backing up. But I wanted to run two RCAs just so I have an option. And again, I fed it through here. You had to peel this rubber off and then take off the connectors. Don't try to put it back on with a connector on there. Take off the connect the plastic connectors here. Put the rubber back on and snap it back in. You'll never get it back on unless you take off the plastic connectors. And this is where the RCA cables come. Um, I temporarily have it hooked up just for testing. Uh, but here's one RCA. That's for the license plate cam. And then this is going to be for the third brake light cam. Besides that, and let me just see how that silicone set. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. So I ran both RCA cables to the switcher, and it'll be under my seat. And you have this white RCA cable going all the way to the front. And you can see I ran it here, it goes up, it goes into the radio using a RCA to FACRA point, uh, connector, F-A-K-R-A, you can find them on eBay. I bought a kit and the kit actually programmed my uh, radio, which I'll show you, but it programmed the radio so I can now... Uh, use it in reverse or see it says camera there it never used to say camera so the ODBC connector worked and if I hold down the sys button it'll show you my rear view cam now these cameras have an option to show the lines I took off the lines I just didn't want the lines but uh, it has an option it's just a little jumper and then you can set that up down here Besides the RCA, I put a heavy duty relay, ran this new, this new red wire, heavy duty relay, and that powers the pure sine wave inverter. These two plugs, one of them is for the TV. The other goes to the ashtrays that I showed you before, and I'll show that as the last video of me um, wrapping that up. I also put a switch on the outside right here and that switch allows me to turn off the inverter if I don't want to use it. Just to have a, another, you know, another thing draining the battery. So I said, you know what, let me make a switch. And that switch will only uh, work when the car is on. So even if the car, if the car is off, the inverter will not work. And I kind of did that on purpose. I just don't want the kids to leave on the PlayStation or the TV. So if the car's not on, it will it will uh, turn off 
the inverter and then if the car is on and uh, you flip this down then it will uh turn off the inverter flip it up turns on the inverter actually turned it on just now you can see it power on i also ran two aftermarket marine grade uh cigarette lighter adapters for charging you can see i did one over there too they almost fit i had to take a grinder you can see the the thread i had to take a grinder and like reshape it a little bit but with a soft hammer i pounded them in with a soft hammer and um they came out great and i put a usb and um bolt adapter right there and those go off i made it so those go off when you turn off the car because i don't want them on all, all the time so those i made so those go off the stock one does um stay on all the time and then i also wired that is the cigarette actually uh ashtray um remote sorry about that had a fumble that's the cigarette lighter and took that one and i linked up another one that one stays off when the car is off so i like that one because when the car is off it turns off this one stays on also the two in the rear of the vehicle if you have it those stay on all the time too this aftermarket one i uh made it so it turns off with the car and then i ran a wire like i said from this one to up here I didn't get a mount yet though to up here and I'm not done installing this but this will be a mount this is for the tablet that's gonna mirror cast to the TV um, I also use the USB stock USB port for charging I found out the 3.5 millimeter RCA I mean uh, phone jack does not work that great it, it's if you can link to the radio with, with Bluetooth that's probably a lot better so I have this RCA, uh, sorry, I have this power cable coming out, 12 volt. I'm gonna put uh, an adapter here. I couldn't embed, I'll show you the hole, but I could not embed a whole plug. It was just too big. So I'm just gonna put an external one right, right out here and this will allow me to charge. Um, I also put a phone, um, phone sticky right there, magnet. So I can have my phone, the tablet, the rear view cam, and look, I'll switch the rear view cam right now. I'll flip it. And I don't have the second camera hooked up yet, but when I do, it will go. I can also hook up a three-way switch, which will allow me to watch whatever the kids are watching on the PlayStation or when they're watching a movie. My wife can watch, obviously I'll be driving. Um, so I put the relay switch, I put a 40 amp um, fuse, resettable fuse, that powers the inver that comes in, and then that powers the this powers the inverter. This positive and negative go to the switch that I put out here, and if you look inside, there is another grounding. Um, nut right there. You can see all the brown ones. That's the factory. The one ahead of it. That's uh, that was just open and spare. So I used that one to ground all of my uh, new connections. And I put tape over the relay just so this positive wire is not exposed and hitting any metal like my chair or anything else. I might do something else as well to to secure that better. So all I have to do is button up this truck. It's gonna take me some time. I'm actually gonna put some insulation in first because I have everything apart. And then I'm gonna uh, button it up and then put the TV on. So we'll uh, see how that goes in part two. Actually part four.